Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with a brand new Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I have heard, I've seen some posts and some people have, uh, you know, let me know that Dollar Tree now has, uh, you know, new Dollar DVDs and Blu-rays in the stores. It seems like they change them out now. From what I can tell, it's usually like, it seems like it's like once a month now. It used to be like every two or three months, and now it seems to be monthly, at least from what I can tell. It seems to be like every month, month and a half or so that they get in new ones. And the one location that I, is like my my favorite one and the one where every if I call they're always check and let me know if they got anything new in and all that kind of stuff last time around when I called uh, they were like oh yeah we didn't get anything new and I went there and they had a couple of new things but this time I just finished calling them now and the guy was like oh yeah a day or so ago uh, we put out like eight boxes or a whole bunch of boxes so he's like there's over a hundred and something new ones over there a couple hundred so fingers crossed hopefully uh you know there he it sounded like there was still a whole bunch of them left from what he was saying so hopefully though like they weren't all picked you know because if they were out there a couple days hopefully like the, the really good ones aren't gone and it's kind of like where all the blu-rays are picked out and that happens sometimes i've noticed and there's like literally no blu-rays left but fingers crossed hopefully i can find some interesting stuff and like, I don't even know what are some of the new titles this time around. I have not really seen any pictures or videos. I just heard people saying that they've been finding them, but I haven't seen like much of anything like you know new to look for or anything like that. So like I said, we'll see what we can find. So let the Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video begin. Into the Dollar Tree we go. Yeah, but in here though, fingers crossed they have some cool stuff out because usually when I call, the guy usually would be like, oh yeah, I put out a couple ones. I might have put a box or two out. Uh, there's a few ones out, but this time the guy was like, oh, I put out, like I was saying, eight boxes. There's like a couple hundred new ones out. So like I was saying, hopefully, fingers crossed, they still have some cool ones left, but we will see though. Like I said, hopefully, hoping for some cool, you know, different stuff this time. Yeah, and in some of the locations they put like the new movies in the front. This one though, I haven't seen like a um, Dollar Tree in quite a while put the movies out in the front of the store. I don't know, like, at least in the locations near me, I haven't seen that in a really, really long time. In this location though, the movies are always here in the back. And this one has always been the one that has the um, most amount of them out of any one I've ever seen. Let's see, I th are those? No, it doesn't look like there's movies there. But yeah, he, the guy was right. They're all like stacked on top of each other over here. So there's definitely a, a lot of them over here. And I see some horror ones here. So we'll see. Hopefully there's something interesting in all this stuff. And don't worry, I'm going to you know, hand sanitize my hands and everything after I'm done in here. It's always a pain too when I see stuff that I remember like buying, you know, when it came out the first time around for like, you know, the full price, like $13, $14, something like that at Walmart. This one, I believe, this Natalie Dormer movie, I believe I remember buying this one though. Paul Potts, I guess this is like some kind of like opera kind of thing. Let's see here, Restoration. I don't believe I've ever seen uh, this one. Some of these ones I know I've seen. Um, this Damage DeMarcus cover here. This is a really fun uh, horror anthology. If you guys come across this one, I definitely recommend you guys check this one out. Like, it has a bunch of different directors on here. Uh, Kevin Smith did one of the segments, but this one was actually a pretty fun one if you guys come across this one. This is another good one here, The Girl in the Photographs. This is like, I think this is one of the last, did Wes Craven produce this one? Yeah, I think this is one of the last things that Wes Craven was producing uh, right before he passed away. Let's see, All Between Us, Batman, um, Unlimited, uh, Mechs versus Mute. Mutants here. I don't think I've seen that one. And I don't know if I've ever seen this one here, Hollow at Hollow in the Land. I don't think so. Some top here. I'm just trying to not, not mess these all up. This is definitely a new one I've not see, seen in, in a Dollar Tree. That Roman J. Israel Esquire one. This is one I didn't get to see. But that's definitely not a bad I know there's a Blu-ray this as well. It does have a digital copy in here, but that's not a bad one for a dollar. I might get that one because like I said, I haven't even seen this one and that's kind of a, a different one to see. Let's see. Look away. This is one of those ones I cannot say for sure if I bought it or not. I have to look in my videos and see if I got that one. The Gift. I know I've seen that one before. Uh, Hamlet 2. I've seen that one before in the past. This is a, a fun movie. I haven't watched this movie in like forever, but I remember liking that one when that first came out. Queen and Country. Is this the one? This is a different one with Nick Stahl. There's another movie that had a similar title with um, this title with uh, 
Kristen Slater and I think but this one here quad I don't think I I don't know I might get this one I don't think I have that one next door movie and this is kind of a funny thing this like cookie jar zoo what is this thing like a zobo momofo something like that like like an animal it's like a, I guess it's a Canadian I know a, a French Canadian release here it's always funny when you see some of those show up in here let's see though uh, one of the Robert movies this is one of the ones I remember buying you know at um you know Walmart when this one first came out and I think this was one too I don't know if this was the one where I remember like the director I remember reading like took his name off of the movie and changed his name or something I don't know if this was the movie but I remember there's a movie kind of like that I believe Astral that's a I always like this Liam Neeson one this run all night I thought that was actually a really good one another one of that one Billionaire Boys Club I saw that one last time around Girl on the Edge a Shark Week collection one here. The Exorcist Beginning. That one I believe I've seen before. Kind of a Jungle Book one. Another copy of Girl in the Photographs, Look Away. Another one of Restoration, Shock and All. Holidays, and the Holidays. Vikings Blood. What is this one? Some weird like Scott Bale movie over here, Dumb Luck. I don't know. I don't know this one. It's kind of a weird. Richard Mall. I don't know when this one is from. It's from 2000. This is 2000 is when this came out. I know. I don't remember ever seeing that movie. What Lies Ahead. This is a Rumor Willis movie. I think I remember thinking. I think I ended up reviewing this one. I believe so. This one here, I remember buying this one when this first came out. School. I still have to watch this one, but it looked like a kind of an interesting one. Rupture. Do I have this one? Naomi Price film. I don't. Don't think I. That's another one I need to look up to see if I have that one or not. Luckily enough, though, I can look back on my like I just search on my channel to see if I ended up buying it because I can't remember sometimes. American Hangman. This is one I know I've never seen before. For 2019. This looks kind of interesting here. That it's loose in the case, but I've definitely never seen uh, this one here. So there definitely is a handful of new ones. This is like a Robert collection that has. Oh, so this one has the first Robert movie, and then the um, I guess the second Robert film, Planet Earth, Cabin 28. I don't think I ended up. I don't know if I bought this one when this first came out or not. I can't remember for sure though. Another one of Rupture. Another Robert collection. Another one to school. This one here, Doe. This one, I have to look this one up. I don't know this one. I don't believe I have that one. This one was actually a decent movie with uh, Christina Ricci and John Cusack. And he's kind of in this movie, John Cusack's character is like wearing the exact same hat that I always wear. And it's like, if you, you can kind of see on the back, but I, and I remember watching this, I'm like, man, he's like totally dressing like me. Because he, he has the, 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 the identical one, which is not a, it's easy to find that total blank hat like that. Uh, so it's kind of funny he's wearing the same one, but that movie is not uh, bad. Uh, Lex, I've never seen this one in here. Lex season one. I've never even seen this show. I might get this one for that, especially since it's season one. If it's a show I've never seen before, I'm more inclined to buy, you know, the first season of it. Off the menu. Orphan Horse. Dark Horse. I've seen that one a whole lot in here. Uh, Justice League Adventures. Trapped in Time. The Meddler. I believe I'm, I have that one. This was a house party uh, tonight's the night. Yeah, Kid and Player like, have like, a really quick cameo in this movie. But this one though, this was not that great at all. What is this Carnival of Souls one here? Like a four movie collection. So this one's kind of like um, like public domain ones in there. The Adventures Club. Pimped down there. Mr. Showbiz. Frank and Lola. Scare b, &B. I got this one though, and this one uh, first released. Like an Ashley Simpson thing on here. I guess that has like a Walmart sticker on there or something like that still. Killers Within. This one I know I remember I remember reviewing 
of this one. This is definitely not bad to see for a dollar. The complete second season of the original Office. I, like I said, I never really watched any of the, you know, the U.S. season, but the, you know, the U.K. one with Ricky Gervais. I always watch that one. I've seen that Child Star one before. Scooby Doo, Music of the Vampire, Prolonged Exposure. Now this is a cool set here. Uh, Charles Bronson triple uh, collection here. It says Death Wish two, three, and four. That's a cool one. I have those ones on uh, Blu-ray though. Uh, what's this one here? I don't know this one. I'll have to look this up. This is from 2018. Yeah, I definitely have never seen that one before. The Awkward Moment. That's not that's not a bad movie to see for a dollar. That was a fun film. Brooks. I don't know that movie. Surviving the Wild. Dark Horse. This is one I would recommend you guys get. Uh, Anthem of a TJ, Teenage Prophet. This was actually a really, really uh, good movie. I like this one a lot. If you guys come across this with Peyton List, I uh, definitely would recommend you guys check that one out. Porters here, the horror movie. I have this one already. Like I said, I'm seeing so many of these that I remember getting when they first came out. A warning shot. This is a pretty decent one with um, like David Spade doing kind of a serious role in here. If you guys come across this one, this is another one I would definitely recommend uh, you guys check out. And still a couple more ones to go through here. Uh, another one of the He's Out There ones. Like I said, a lot of these ones I'm not getting are ones I already know I have, so I don't need to get those ones. It's funny how some of these ones have the slip covers, other ones don't. Because like Hoarders, when that released, that one had a slip cover, but I noticed it seems like some of them do, some of them don't. This is where one has like a puzzle on the front. It's real kind of hot in here today, too. It's kind of like... <laughs> this one, this is cool to see in here. A, um, you know, a uh, Shout Factor release. This one here called Freak Show. This one I really like. This has Abigail Breslin in it. Uh, you know, uh, Bette Midler, you know, Sophia Robb. This one was actually really good. That one's cool to see in here, though, for a dollar. Spider-Man animated series right there. WWE, Randy Ortegan. Let's see. The Shadow Man. I have that one. I don't know if I have this one. I have to, another one I have to look up. I don't don't think I have this one. So I'm glad I'm seeing a lot of ones that I don't believe I have. Real Wedding collection here. This one I got last time around for the last sale. This one had like, um, Clint Howard was in here, Bill Mosley, another Spider-Man collection here, Exorcist prequel, another Ashley Simpson one, Igor, another Orphan Horse. This is another one I got last time around. Ultimate Goal, another Awkward Moment. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3. This is one that I, I remember, this, there is a Blu-ray of this, but I never got this movie here. Um, it's called Ideal, Ideal Home with Steve Coogan and Paul Rudd. This is one I had always wanted to see though, so for a dollar, definitely get that. I, I did notice there isn't a ton of Blu-rays. I was just noticing that now. I have not seen many Blu-rays this time around. It's, uh, Smurf Season 1, Volume 1. Another freak show, The Meddler. Curse of Robert, Office Complete Second Season, Belko Experiment, that I saw last time I was saying that. If you guys have never seen this one, uh, this one was a great movie. They're all stuck in this office, like attacking each other and trying to survive. This is a, one I really liked a lot. I'm seeing the first Blu-ray in here, and this is one, out of all these ones, this is like one of the few Blu-rays, I think the only one I noticed. But Robocop, and this one I've seen t so many different times in the Dollar Trees. This is one of those ones that shows up so often. The Leisure Seeker. I don't think I've seen that one before. So yeah, I, decent, I found a decent amount of ones in here. Like I said, got to look through these ones, see which ones I'm going to get, and see which ones to make sure I don't have any of these. And like I was saying too, there's a lot of horror ones that I didn't pick up, but are the ones that I bought, like when they first released at Walmart, like Scare B&B and a handful of other ones. But yeah, definitely was a whole ton of different ones in here today though. Yeah, so in there I got a couple of different things. Uh, the first one I got was that one I was saying I never saw this show, and I always heard about this one, Lex, uh, you know, the complete uh, first season of that one. And anytime I see one, a thing where it's like the complete first season, I always get it as opposed to more if it's like, oh, season three, or you know, like a, like a later season, something I'd never seen before. I got that Nick Stoll uh, film, Quad Pro Q. Uh, you know, as like I said, I, I don't believe I've ever seen this one, but there's a similar kind of movie with uh, Kristen Sl Slater in it. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure I never bought. I don't think so. Uh, hopefully I didn't. I might have. I don't know. I can't. I couldn't find for sure if I had or not. Uh, this uh, the Shadow Man one. 
and then I know I never got this one, this um, you know, American uh, Hangman one, this Donald Sutherland movie, and then I got this Dominion one uh, in there. It looks interesting here, and then the last one I got was the. Um, you know, the ideal, ideal home one, which is like I said, I remember when this first came out, I remember looking at this a ton of times, I never ended up getting it. So for a dollar, you know, it's not, not, not a bad price at all. So let me know in the comments below though, guys, if you guys went to a Dollar Tree, let me know in the comments below, you know, what stuff you guys found, if you guys saw anything different, anything new that you guys picked up. And also let me know too, was your location kind of like mine where there was only like one Blu-ray in the whole store that I noticed? Cause other than that, I didn't, I didn't really, unless I was missing the other ones or wasn't, you know, pointing them out, I wasn't really noticing any blurries except that one there may have been some others but it just seemed like it was just that one in there but like I said let me know in the comments below you know like it was real sweaty but let me know in the comments below though uh, what you guys ended up picking up if you guys went to a Dollar Tree anyway though guys like I always say too if you guys enjoy these uh, videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and thanks again for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later